Hey, what's up guys, Sandeepia. In this video, I'm going to share my interview experience with IBM. So I interviewed at IBM quite a long back for React.js developer profile. And I believe they were hiring for three plus years of experience up to eight years. And mostly they were hiring for a React.js or a front-end developer. Uh, so talking about the rounds, there were three rounds or in total. The first one would be the technical round itself, which was comprising of like one hour, but mine was around 45 minutes and the managerial round, which comprises of like 30 minutes and follow up with an HR round next day, which will be around five to 10 minutes. Mostly they will be around for the sal salary ne negotiation. So coming back to the initial round, which is the technical round and round number one, the interviewer started with asking me, what is IIFE? And can you describe one use case of IIFE, which is immediately invoke function expression? The second question he asked, like, what is function expression and like that main difference between function expression and function statement? Uh, number third was like how JS event loop works, basically the whole mm, J event loop or workflow. The fourth was like, how does browser reads or understand codes, what you write uh, within your code base? How does it compiles within uh, within the browser and displays on the screen or your browser or the UI? Uh, number fifth was like, when should we use uh, like call, apply and bind? There are, if you know, call, apply and bind methods in JS. And when should we use call, apply and bind? So that was the question. Sixth one was like, what's the difference between normal function and an arrow function? And he was asking me to tell some two, three key differences. Uh, what is cutting function or like function cutting and one use case of function cutting when we will use that. And what is use strict in JS? So what, what use strict does or what is the benefit of using use strict in JS? You need to explain that. So the ninth question the interviewer started asking is like, what is the advantages of closure in JS? Basically he was asking me about when should we use closure in JS and how it is beneficial. Number 10th and 11, a couple of outputs, as you can see on the screen. Number 12th is like, what is cohesion in JavaScript? Can you explain me some scenarios where, where like JavaScript does this thing called cohesion? Number 13 is like, what is hosting in JS and all you need, all these concepts you need to explain him. So that is what I did. And the 14 was like, what is the difference, key difference between promise and async await? So he was asking me about the key difference between promise and async await. So number 15 was like, what are generators in JS? Uh, like when, when will we decide to use generator? Uh, number 16 is like, why do we need e event or prevent default in forms? If you have noticed that you write event dot prevent default whenever you are calling a function in a form. So number 17 was like, what is the use of render in React? So uh, all, all these are kind of straightforward question. You just need to explain like what will happen and what not. 18 was like, what happens if you update the state directly? Again, this is also a straightforward question. So the 19 question was like, what are the drawbacks using React.js? So initially he asked me about what are the advantages of React.js? And then he asked me about drawback of React.js. And also he asked me about how we can solve this issue, like using other frameworks or tools for these drawbacks. Uh, 20 was like framework level uh, question, which is difference between function and class component. 21 was again a framework level question, props and state difference between them. Lifecycle method, which is on React.js. And he told me to tell the, tell the lifecycle methods in order. Uh, and also the substitute lifecycle method, which is there in hooks as compared to what is there on uh, like, like the class components. So number 23rd is like, what are, what is reducers in React.js? What are middlewares? Like how many, how can we use middlewares and how many types of middlewares I have used? And can we have multiple stores in Redux? So all in all, the question was not that tough. So it was, it was kind of framework level, straightforward questions. So if you are interviewing for IBM, you can expect questions kind of this level. So which is not hard. It just, if you're working with React Redux, it would be quite easy for you to answer all this. So I hope you like this video. Thank you. I'll meet you in my next video.